Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Partnership is the cornerstone of aviation success in taking action against climate change. Through a constellation of partners, we are able to achieve unprecedented progress on a variety of measures to reduce international aviation emissions. For 70 years, the International Civil Aviation Organization, a specialized agency of the United Nations, has reliably fostered cooperation amongst its 191 member states, agreeing on some 12,000 technical and operational standards and their seamless, harmonized implementation around the world. ACAO has continuously adopted policies and standards to connect people and economies in a safe, secure, and environmentally sustainable manner. This has greatly contributed not only to the growth of aviation, but also to the development and the prosperity of nations. At the same time, ACAO takes the environmental aspect of aviation very seriously, in particular, its impact on the climate. It is also worth noting that our environmental work program contributes to 10 of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, and we will very much look forward to supporting the attainment and Agenda 2030. To do so, ICAO has built a robust framework on its environmental activities, which consists of quantification, mitigation, and implementation. Comprised of more than 600 experts from governments, industry, civil society, and other stakeholders, the ICAO Council's Committee on Aviation Environmental Protection has been quantifying the present and future impact and trends of CO2 emissions from international aviation. Aviation only accounts for about 2% of global man-made CO2 emissions and international aviation for 1.3%. Governments agreed on the aspirational goals of 2% annual fuel efficiency and carbon neutral growth from 2020 onwards. To achieve this, ICAO delivered a basket of mitigation measures to reduce aviation emissions, technological advances, operational improvements, sustainable alternative fuels, and a global market-based measure. Industry has successfully been delivering new aircraft technologies and 2016 will mark the adoption of the first ever CO2 standard for aircraft. Also, the improvement of aircraft operations in the air and on the ground would lead to operational efficiency gains. These operational concepts are captured by ICAO's Global Air Navigation Plan. A momentum is being reached and the concept of eco-airports where sustainable alternative sources of energy would be used in the air and on the ground is the next paradigm shift we need. The real game changer for a sector fully reliant on fuel is the use of drop-in sustainable alternative fuels. ICAO facilitates the deployment of such fuels. The 38th ICAO Assembly in 2013 agreed on the development of a global market-based measure, MBM, for international aviation. ICAO has been undertaking tremendous work in developing a proposal for consideration by the next 39th Assembly in 2016. Global Aviation Dialogues were organized for all regions in April 2015 to ensure the engagement of all. Another round of GLADS will be organized in spring 2016. Since 2010, ICAO's robust capacity building strategy supports the development and implementation of member states' action plans to reduce international aviation emissions. One of the most valuable outcomes of this initiative is the engagement of all stakeholders which facilitates the effective sharing of information, projection of emissions data, and identification of appropriate mitigation measures. 
To date, ICAO member states representing more than 80% of global traffic have voluntarily submitted their action plans to ICAO. All our states want to act to protect the environment, but not all of them have the means to do so. Our action plan buddy program encourages states with know-how to support states that want to submit an action plan, but do not have the resources to do so. It establishes strong partnerships directly between states, leading to multiplying the effects of the state's action plans. This is why ICAO entered into agreements to facilitate the financing of states' actions. To date, two partnerships have been established. These assistance projects highlight the importance of funding partnerships in support of ICAO member states, which may still be facing shortfalls in their local expertise and resources. By bringing these partners together in this context, needful states are then able to realize and implement a practical and effective action plan to reduce CO2 emissions from international aviation. This assistance dynamic is a very positive and concrete example of ICAO's efforts to engage in sector-wide capacity building under our No Country Left Behind initiative, the aim of which is to ensure that all states can assess the significant socio-economic benefits of rapid global connectivity. We are always on the lookout to identify new partners and drive greater success on emissions reductions. And we encourage states and other stakeholders to consider the global benefits of participation in the action plan. Synergies are also created through the parallel approaches of ICAO and UNFCCC. In 2010, ICAO launched its State's Action Plans Initiative for International Aviation. In 2013, the UNFCCC requested parties to send their intended nationally determined contributions, or INDCs. The robust data collection of all the ICAO State's Action Plans enables them to also collect data related to domestic aviation and emissions reduction as co-benefits. This provides synergetic opportunities, such as the use of co-benefits information, to feed into the UNFCCC's INDC's process harmonizing aviation data while avoiding duplication of efforts. It is fascinating to see how these parallel processes can enhance climate change actions while respecting both organizations' mandates and regulatory frameworks. Building on expertise in ICAO and UNFCCC, two methodologies under the UNFCCC Clean Development Mechanism, CDM, have been developed for aviation projects for the first time and new methodologies are under consideration. None of these achievements would have been made possible without the strong cooperation and partnerships established by ICAO with industry stakeholders, civil society, and other UN system organizations. Cooperation has made the Global Aviation Network what it is today and remains ICAO's most valuable asset on the road to the sustainable future for the international aviation sector.